What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and we sadly lost the first series, but we're playing three series, Blinky and I, so if we can win these next two series, we can still win the entire deck wars. Um, and remember, each series is the best of five. So the three decks that I chose to use for this second series are the following. Decay, Order, Poison. Um, I guess... It's not really order. Uh, that's only one order scroll summons. Um, I was, I was considering doing like Tempo Festival of Harvesters, but I couldn't really fit it in. Uh, this would probably be a good combat to if I see like growth or if I see order, because the Wild Nine Taints will also help. So this is like a combat to order and growth, but it won't do good against structure. So I'm not going to lead off with it in case he. But he already played a structure deck, so I don't think he's going to play another one. We'll see. He's not allowed to play another one. Or he is if he like changes it somehow. We'll see. Um, and then my other thing, I have Mono Energy Range for the second one. Um, the standard Mono Energy Range deck, I do have uh, a lot of Automatons, if it's got Automatons, pretty standard. It could pretty much beat everything, lose everything, so I'm considering leading off with this. But I think this is other deck I'm going to lead off with, my third deck I'm going to choose, which is Aggro Growth. Yes, Aggro Growth. Um, so this uh, will be pretty cool to just lead off with music again it could lose to most things but it could beat most things um i am doing the new wildling oak blood combo that makes it absolutely amazing um that's about it very uh so this i am gonna have a um a more late game growth tech, not late game but you know normal growth tech not aggro that stops at five resources um later probably for the third um the third series but this uh is gonna be pretty good so I'm going to lead off with this one, and hopefully uh, we can take a seal win or two or three. Three would be insane, I would just get the sweep. And we'll have to, we're going to try to um, win this so we can force a third series. We don't want him to uh, win the first two um, series and then take the deck, war the deck wars just like that because it's best of three. So let's head right into this. Enjoy, everybody. Good luck. So if you don't remember, Blinky won it all last time, and we got a good starting hand here. We have the Brave and the Ranger. Um, he, we won the first match in the last uh, last series of matches. We won the first match, and then he won three after that with the old decay. So he won the best of five series in four games, and he is leading off with energy. I'm leading off with growth. I don't know what energy he is. Um, Let's see. I guess I'll sacrifice the uh, these energies so and maybe I'll sacrifice the Rat King. Ranger or Brave? I think I go Brave. I want to do early damage. And hopefully next turn I can go Ranger and Vetter. And then I'll be able to quickly play a 5 drop if I need to. Like a Veteran or something. Ah, uh, he had a spark. That's why I was considering going just so. Uh, I was considering going uh, with the ranger and the uh, the ranger instead of the brave. But this isn't too bad. Now I get this, and now I will be able to play the ranger unless he has like another spark for the vetter. I don't know if he's. I hope he's. I'm not sure what I hope. I'm not. I don't have quakes in this deck, so it's not like I'm hugely like good against structure energy. He might be structure energy. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for the ranger. Wild thing. Okay. So we have three things attacking now. Let's see what we can do. This thing, if he's gonna play structure, I'd like him to play this structure because it doesn't hurt us that much. Unless he gets lucky. Like, I, I don't want to see ether bumps and stuff. And that. Yes, okay, good. It doesn't kill me just yet, but I'm gonna hold on to that rumble, I think. I think I'm gonna hold on to that rumble. Oh, you know what? Wildling Oak Blood is going to be really good in this because now energy balance dispersals don't, I think they deal 8 damage or something, or 6 damage, something like that. They don't, they're not insta-kill anymore, so maybe I can get a Wildling Oak Blood out. <laughs> I want to keep that rumble. I'm going to sacrifice the, uh, the ranger. Do I go with the Crimson Bowl so I can take this out? Nah, I think I'm going to go for idols. 
yeah. I'm going to get a wildling out. No, I'm going to get the ranger out. It's a tough choice. We're going to see if we can quickly get down some idols and then maybe rumble. We've rumbled Crimson Bull wildly in hand. It's not too bad. Charge coil. Okay. That can be a little bit of a problem. I don't hit anything. Yes. Oh, that's close. Close to hitting my two biggest guys. Now, stag card is pretty good, but... I don't think we're gonna. I think we're gonna sack up our cards, and we get a Fang Bear and a Wildling. I don't think it'd be playing many creatures. It's only creatures, probably. It's only humans are probably a Machine Divinator or maybe a uh, Hired Smuggler. So I'll play the Wildling now. There's a good chance for me to play it, and it's immediately going to have two attack because of these Wetland Rangers. And should I have these Wetland Rangers hit the same idol? If he can, Thunder Surge now. That is true. I'm gonna have these guys hit separate idols. Try to take him down like this. Okay, there we go. Kind of like on position there. This wild link can move up or down. I'm holding on to both of those rumbles because those. If he has like another proximity charge or two, I might have to use them. Sorry if you hear like crackling in my microphone. I need to get a new one. I'm probably gonna get one soon. Okay. I have a Crimson Bull and everything I have is attacking next turn. I might Crimson Bull. But we'll see. But I mean, these, as it stands, these two are already destroying the 7 health idol without the Crimson Bull. So I'm not sure. And a Violent Dispersal on that. Yes, didn't hit this guy. Interesting. I'm actually really surprised. I'm not sure why. I would think that the crimson that the found dispersal would go on one of the rangers or the wild thing not the the hmm interesting uh i think here we're gonna go with the crimson bull and the vetter i'm gonna sack ricard so see what else we can do and we get other stuff but i think crimson bull vetter is gonna be fine because now we have a uh, now it's looking pretty good i can deal lots of damage there and then, let's see. Now what do I wanna do? I, I kinda wanna take out this idol. Yeah. I do wanna take out that idol. And, so now you're in burn range. I'm, maybe I shouldn't have done that, I don't know. Okay. Well now, his idols are pretty low. If he has a burn, I'm not sure if he would burn this or that. And I have two rumbles in hand, so we could always just like rumble twice next turn and try to get both of these idols open. Obviously, he only has two cards, so he might not have anything to protect. We might get a win on this next turn around eight. A mortar. Is that going to be it? He put it up there, not here. Actually, this is proximity charge there too. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna rumble. Okay, anything? Yes. Not him. Yes. All right. Good. No better and not that. Uh, if we rumble twice, it's impossible to win because he's not. This structure's not even two moves away from being away from this, so that's not gonna work. Now, I'm gonna save those rumbles. I'm going to play. He yeah, has two two formidable creatures. Ooh, Earthborn Mystic. I think I should play Earthborn Mystic and Ranger because the Vetter is not gonna be breaking through to any idols probably. Or do I rumble this turn? And my guy's only gonna get one attack buff this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that. Okay, let's see. So this looks just about right. I don't want to really lower you to one health. I want to, into, I want to get an oak blood. Let's play you. And then let's play you. Alright, so we still got at least one of the boosts from the uh, rangers. And this thing is on three health. 
So, now we might see a double rumble. A double rumble. Hmm. Also, it would be nice to get these proximity charges out of the way of this idol. So, it would be awesome to get a win here. Let's see. He goes with a clock clock over back there. That's it. And does he hit? And he still hasn't hit any of my one health things. That's amazing for me. Uh, do we go with the rumble now? I think we have to, right? I'm not going to sacrifice for resources first. I'm going to see what the rumble does, and then after I'll decide if I want to sacrifice resources to play the other rumble. So I'm, I want to do the rumble and see if I can like, get a win. So I could rumble twice. We just need this clock elaborate to get out of the way. I should be any more than that. Let's see what happens. Okay. So that happened. Mm. If I rumble again, I'm not going to win. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the breaker for cards. Oop, oak blood. I like oak blood. I could go for center idol. I do want the attack buff. You know, let's get this down to one health, so... I mean, I got a Thunderstruck off on us, and that would hurt. But if it comes to it, that means that, um... I'm going to be able to get, like, a Rumble Ragged Wolf. Now, I don't get any attack buff this coming turn. Oh, well. But now, a Rumble Ragged Wolf would win the game. So if he's able to, like, clear my board soon... But I don't think he's going to be able to. He has a charge going off. A sudden, I'm scared of a sudden eruption. I'm scared of thunder searches. Okay, he gets that down. And a poster resistance. And he's not going to block the bottom idol. Okay, and still doesn't hit anything with one health. Wow. It's kind of lucky. I think this is my chance to get oak blood on this. I am going to... Yeah, okay. I'm going to... Oh, but you're gonna get attack buff also. And this Earthborn Mystic. Do I wanna draw an enchantment? Or do I wanna do idle damage? I'm gonna draw an enchantment. Stack heart, okay. Let's go ahead and. Let's only. Let's sacrifice the breaker. There's a chance of me, there's actually no chance of me winning if I rumble. Yet. Let's go ahead and play the oak blood on you. And then a vengeful better right here. So now you have three attack. So now I have a couple big threats. And this does die to a violent dispersal, but I think violent dispersal does eight, da eight damage. Well, you have magic armor one. So I think you used to have a Bounce Dispersal, but a Bounce Dispersal combined with anything else, anything else will kill you. So it's not invincible, but it's much harder to destroy now. Now that Bounce Dispersal was nerfed a little bit. Or we could, put, we could put a stack card in you. Yeah. Let's see. We're not getting these attack buffs anymore. He's going to go for that row. Not a bad choice, and he still does not hit anything with one health. And if we... Let's see, do we win? A um do we win? You're not going anywhere because if I rumble you're just gonna move back here and then the other stuff's just gonna move. This is three plus four plus three. Three plus four plus three that's enough, right? Yeah. No, four plus three, yeah, that's enough. That's GG. GG. I don't know why it took me so long to look at that. Okay. So there we go, and I got the attack boost there. So we got the first win, we're gonna stay with our order, but we got the first win in the last series. So, you know, we got the first win in the last series and we lost the three after that, so we lost the first um, the first best of five. So the second best of five, we got a good, good start again with the aggro deck, like last time we got us to a good start with aggro order, but we gotta stay on our toes. He's gonna have a counter deck for us and we're gonna have to try to win again. 
Um, so make sure you like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content like this, and check out Blinky's perspective uh, if you want to um, see what he was doing in this game. So stay tuned for the next video.